friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. I'm coming to you from my garage. This is a one, our one car garage and then we have a two car garage on another side. But I've got this uh, oh, hutch and sideboard that I recently bought for my new dining room that I'm putting together. And this is it in its current state. We took all the handles off of it here recently, uh, last night actually. And I'm going to be sanding it a little bit and then painting it. So this is the bottom. It's got uh, cabinet, cabinet doors all along there and then drawers all along the top or you know, a short drawer, then a long drawer, then a, another drawer. And it's somebody's uh, grandmother's old hutch. And I picked it up on Oh, one of those big barter and buy sites on Facebook that I'm going to make it um, for my uh, dining room. And this is the hutch portion. Um, we already took the glass out and took the cabinet knobs off because I'm going to start painting everything. And um, so this is what it looks like now and you'll see it when it's finished. I'm using a product I found out about called Heirloom Traditions Paint. And um, this is what it looks like. Hareton Collection All-in-One Paint. And this All-in-One Paint, apparently, um, I've watched a lot of videos on it. You can paint your furniture um, with like two coats of this stuff and it's like rock hard. And it's a chalk paint, but it's got a primer in it and a bonder in it and all the stuff that um, you need to go on top of this without having to really sand it everywhere. I am going to sand the top because it's got some marks on it and stuff like that to kind of just smooth it out a little bit. You can see, and uh, that's why I've got my Ryobi, um, I, I don't know if they call it a palm sander, whatever, and then I've got my uh, 150 grit sandpaper. So that's what I'm going to be doing this morning. Um, I got all my fall decorating done yesterday, finally, don't have my boxes back up in the attic yet. But this is what I'm going to be working on. So I've decided um, I'm going to do it in this uh, color is called Iron Gate. And it's a black, a matte black. Um, I decided to do black versus white because we're going to do um, the wall in that room that we um, are doing in our dining room. We're going to do shiplap all the way across the wall and it'll be in white. And so the black will really pop against the white and I think it's going to look really good. But anyways, I just wanted to update you on what I'm going to be doing. It would be, it's going to be kind of a, you know, take me a while to work on it. Otherwise, I would set up my tripod and show you a little bit how it, it looks. And maybe I'll do that here after I sand the top. Um, I do have to, they um, give you... Some instruction on this paint, you really have to stir it um, for a good while before you actually start painting. But I'm hoping it's going to make a lovely, lovely piece when it's done. I'm going to be painting every bit of it. Um, on the top part here, I'm actually going to paint the interior as well. Um, or And I sort of kind of was thinking of leaving it the same, but I've decided I think I'm going to go completely black with it in, in the interior. But I think it's going to look really, really cool when I finish it. And um, I've seen somebody else that's on YouTube that has um, a really nice um, sideboard and hutch. And I just loved how hers turned out. She used, like, I believe an Annie Sloan paint. And then she went over it with a wax. Well, with this all-in-one product, you don't have to wax it it's got the wax built in. So every, it's just an all-in-one paint, just like it says. So I'm hoping and praying it's gonna turn out great. And anywho, I'm gonna let you go for now. And I wanted to say hi to everybody. Hello to all my new subscribers. This will be the first time a video I've done like this. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand my top. And probably, oops, excuse me. And then um, there's a few places that maybe around the bottom I don't know if you can see that there's a little mark right there that I need to sand. I might use a, my hand with a piece of sandpaper on that. Um, but 
basically that's about all the sanding I'm going to do um, just because the top's a little bit rough. But anyways, I will talk to you soon guys and hopefully I'll uh, get my tripod set up and maybe show you when I start painting. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.